Hi, I'm Carol Ann Sherman, and I'm here at Art of the Carolinas this week, and I couldn't be more excited. I've been waiting a long time to get here, and today my big purpose is going to be to show you how to transfer an image from a photograph onto a piece of paper so that we can get a good drawing down for your painting if you choose to go that far with it. Uh, this is an, an especially good lesson for people who don't like to draw. It's a really important thing. I feel if you can't draw, you're going to have a hard time painting. And if you can't crawl first, you can't walk. So this is a good way for you to go. If you've ever had any fears of drawing, get over it. This is it. The first thing I'm going to do is I have selected today this picture of my friend Don King, who looks very handsome and has American flag. This is a very warm look for him. I like that. Diamonds, American flags, works good. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to grid this out and get a direct proportion from this photograph that I'm using to this big piece of newspaper bond, which I'm going to be transferring the drawing onto. First thing I'm going to do is put this picture down in the very bottom corner, put my ruler corner to corner through the photograph that's corner to corner, and then I'm going to line it up with the very outer edge on this corner so we get a good proportion. I know that this is just proportionate the way it is, so I'm not going to have to drop any lines. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the whole sheet. I'm not one to measure. I leave that to all the engineers. I will be more than happy to show you how I do this. I just eyeball it. I will drop one line down the center of this page. I am going to cut that roughly in half. This is a standard kind of grid that you can do. If it makes you feel more comfortable to measure it out, that's okay with me too. Just as long as you don't make me do it, we'll be good. So we're going to draw a second line, or third line right here, and yet one more line down here. And this is a little larger. I tend to go larger in the bottoms of my drawings, but that's not going to hurt anybody. It's rather harmless. This is the photograph we're using, so I'm going to take it and to coordinate it with this drawing, I'm going to fold it once to match this line. I am going to fold it a second time in half this way to match this line. And then one more time, which will give us our other two divisions. Because I'm right-handed, this is a secret, don't tell anybody. Because I'm right-handed, I always start on the upper left-hand side of my page so that I don't drag my arm through the graphite as I'm drawing. So what I'm going to do is take my photograph and turn it right back the way that we can see. This simplifies everything and brings it down to a very small area to concentrate on. I'm going to say this little square coordinates with this part of my drawing. And we're going to look at Don's head. And we're going to use a little artistic license, make his hair just slightly larger than it is. This is halfway. If you see this part, it is halfway between here and here. So halfway between here and here would be here. His head comes almost the, to there. His chair line comes just halfway. His glasses. We'll come down here. You can see a little bit of his furrowed brow right there. His eye comes out that way. We can't really see his ear from here. He kind of just comes down and merges into that chair. His nose is in the very corner of this drawing. Composition is really important. When you're drawing, it's most important because this is laying the plan for your entire painting. I can see that his nose comes directly under his eye, so I'm going to make it start there. I see a small bit of this nostril. I see a little bit of this eyebrow. I see his hairline coming this way. His glasses out from the side, and I think we pretty much have the beginning of our drawing. We are now about an eighth of the way done.
and you now have a beginning line drawing to start your painting. And to finish up, I'm going to survey this and see what it needs and what I didn't put in it before, but I think we're pretty complete and we're at a place where we can start working on our painting. You can also take this, you can even transfer this drawing into a piece of tracing paper before you transfer it onto your regular paper. I do that quite often because I do work with UPO and it's a little bit of a fragile surface and uh, it cleans up my drawing. I get to correct all my mistakes later on move things where I think they need to be or should be, even if they're not there in real life. Again, this is Carol Ann Sherman talking to you from Art of the Carolinas. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, don't be afraid to draw. Look for my uh, upcoming DVDs, and I hope to see you soon. Keep painting and keep drawing. Thank you.